Today I want to take a look at Microsoft OneDrive and Project Nucleus. This is something on the 365 roadmap that's coming in July. And if we open up the description, it's similar to taking files offline. You'll be able to take Microsoft List offline. So you can access them even when you have low to no internet. This will be a feature inside of the OneDrive client coming in July. Now, depending on which release that you're in and how new your OneDrive client is, you may or may not have this feature. So how do we know? How can we check? How can we test a client to find out, does this PC have Nucleus support? When we open the OneDrive application, we're prompted to log in, set up our account, all of these different things. If we go to Task Manager, we can actually find the OneDrive.exe application. And taking a look here at Task Manager, we see OneDrive.exe. We're going to right click on that and do Open File Location. Now, what that simply does is it opens up the OneDrive folder, and typically this is going to be in your App Data Local. So here we're looking at App Data Local, and we found OneDrive.exe. All right, well, this is where the OneDrive application lives. And there's a lot of things you can do here, right? You can properties, open to the exe file and get the version number and kind of look at, you know, we're on 21.099. This product version is important because it maps over to the MS release notes. So we can always pair up this version number with the release notes to understand what month, what day that that client was released. Now, when we're looking for Project Nucleus support, we simply want to search here in the top right for the word. So typing in the word Nucleus, we're searching this folder for that one key word, and we got six different hits. And we've got some DLLs, EXE, there's another EXE, another DLL, another DLL. But basically, there's two different executables, and this one is the most interesting because that icon is the Microsoft List icon. That's how we know that we've got Project Nucleus support, is that we're searching our OneDrive local folder. We see the Nucleus EXE. It's showing the Microsoft List icon. That's a great indicator that this PC can support the Nucleus features. Now, I don't know the full user experience in the client GUI. It's probably very simple, almost hidden in the background. So I wanted to show a technical way of confirming that the local machine does have Nucleus support and it's available to us. Thanks for watching.